DJ Bluetooth over here talking about the Control X1. Um, right now we're in my um, MIDI mode, my personal mode. And uh, on that page I... That's a little better. On that page I made a volume for these four knobs. And um, also made these buttons as Q, as you saw from the other video. The way that I did that was going into the um, settings in the controller editor. I don't know if you can see that. I guess you can't. Well, that one says generic MIDI. And that was one that I just created right here. And over here, you're going to go to where it says tractor control in. So that way it's actually getting the MIDI. Um, and I set up a bunch of these say volume faders. And I did four of those for the four knobs. And then I set up four monitor cues, is what that says. And then as you can see I did four for in and four for out. Because the way that you get when that lights up, well I'll just do it from the controller. The way that you get the the feedback for this to light up when there's corresponding so that's deck B over here you have to set up an out in the MIDI and the out is the output of the LED so that sends back the information um, I'm, I'm actually while I'm here I'm going to add some things so I say I go here. I've got all mine. I've got um, the four deck tractor. Then I got the tractor, con the generic MIDI for the tractor control. Then I have UC33 and pad control. Then I just got machines. So I made a four deck machine template. Um, but getting back to the tractor one, I'm going to go ahead and add, say, a mixer. And I'm going to add three. EQ, so I have EQ high, put that for uh, deck A, and then I'm going to duplicate that four times. Make one for B, uh, make another for C, and make another for D. And then I'm going to map those to um, right here. So this will be EQ high, or actually I might do filter and then make this high mids and lows and then I'll make these kills for the high mids and lows and I'll make this kill for the filter because it's cool to kind of turn your filter all the way off or all the way down all the way up and then take it off so that it brings it back without you having to automatically try to reset it even though the tractor's good because it's got these little divots where, where it shows you where zero is. Um, and so then I'll make it so this will be for track a and um, and B, and then when I shift it, this will be for track uh, C and D with corresponding filters and uh, EQ kills. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do down here yet, um, but uh, I'll let you know. So that's that's the first part. Um, I think you're also curious about the view toggle. So if I'm back in um, if I go back here to where it says the actual um, four decks, and then I have the tractor input, but as input it says KX1 colon 